uh, Doug, yeah, we'll, we'll get, we got to get in some Philly sports here in a second. But, okay, I want to talk to you real quick. And this is probably a generic question that you get a lot. Yeah. But what, who is on your Mount Rushmore of stand-up comedy? My Mount Rushmore. On stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy. Yep. I mean, we can stand go. Stand-up. Yeah, stand-up. Not just writing just, or you know just acting. Stand up. Just stand-up. Stand-up. Just just stand-up. Chris Rock. Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah. He just got there though. Like I, like he just got there. He's had a lot of stand-ups recently that I I loved. He but he's been dropping. I mean, outside of just the. I mean, because I mean, of course, he's dropping specials that really aren't funny. He's just talking, but. He's earned the right to do it. So it's like, yeah. So there's Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, because I just think Chris Rock, pound for pound, is the best comedian that's ever walked this earth, in my that's opinion. Probably. I, my dad used to listen to his, when he, he came out with albums back in the mid-90s, when he was yeah, on yep, SNL. Yep, and, yep. and I'll tell you what, there was something, my dad would play him in the car, I was probably 12 years old. Dude, yeah, laugh our hilarious. asses off. Oh, it was the funniest thing. I mean, I, it, I, we, to this day, Rock's, I still remember some of the stuff he was saying was just hysterical. I tell people, Chris Rock's Bring the Pain is 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 literally like you know i'm as a hip-hop fan like whatever the perfect whatever if you're a hip-hop fan whatever you feel is the perfect album that's what bring the pain is to me yes it was perfect like flawless victory like i i i don't think there was a bad like like there's no bad joke on that that oh. that that special like i don't feel i don't feel like there was ever a part where i'm just like ha ah, like everything was funny Oh, he was, he, and he was, and he was dialed in at a point that I've never seen a comedian dialed. Like I've never seen nobody dial, that dialed in. Like he, he was not, he was not playing with y'all that day. Oh, I agree. I mean, he was, and they said that at the time he was performing, like his career was on the line. Wow. So, cause his first special big ass jokes didn't do that well. And you know, he was off of Saturday night live. That's over. He's now kind of becoming like the loud, annoying guy in movies. And they're trying to figure out like, and he, he knocked this one out. So, um, but yeah, so there's Chris, there's Dave. I'm gonna go George Carlin. Love him. Love him. I'm gonna go George Carlin. And then my fifth one, I mean, my fourth one, I'm having a tough time because the, it's really between Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. And I say that because... Yeah, I'm going to just go with Richard. I'm going to go with Richard. I'm going to go mean, with Richard. It's hard. Pryor is just... Yeah, I'm going to go with Richard. Yeah, and, I'm not, and, and the crazy thing is I've never seen Richard Pryor live, though. Neither have, I've never seen Cosby live either. But at least those other... No, I haven't seen Carlin live either. But, like, my thing is... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm gonna just have to go prior, just just off of the influence that he's had on comedy, and how other comedians have tried and failed to do what he's done. No question about it. And I, I think prior, I mean, I knew about him just because my dad. He would watch him all the time yeah, when we were younger. Like, so he's just but, he's just that guy. But I, but 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 man, but Cosby is just was was poetic. Yeah, he was. I mean, Cosby influenced a lot of people back then. He, he influenced a lot of other Richard Pryor, and obviously with what happened with him, you know, people. Uh, don't always come I mean, and yeah, say yeah, that, I mean, but they there's a lot of comedians that do talk about how he influenced them, whether whether you hate him or love him. Well, listen, I I'm not saying I separate the man from the action because I think he I I don't. He's a he's a he's a, he's a menace, or he was a or if you know whatever that they said happened, and it was true, he deserves anything that he gets. But that does not take away from the fact that he you he you cannot tell the story of stand up comedy without him. Yeah, I mean that's it's true. Or you can't tell the story of even black television without it. You can't. You cannot. Or no, not even black, just television. The story of sitcoms. You, like, you can't, like, he, regardless of what we feel about him personally, throughout the 80s, black or white, The Cosby Show is regarded as one, it's either the best or top five shows ever sitcoms ever i mean everybody watched it i mean everybody uh, it's one of those shows that again taking the personal stuff with him is a whole different conversation but right just, just his entertainment aspect and you know right it, like i said i don't it. i do not yeah i do not i do i i do I, I i'm not making a pass for him he is a piece of shit for everything that he's done to women but yes you 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 know he's yeah but yeah so i'm gonna go prior you know 
Pryor, Chappelle, Rock, and, and Carlin. That's okay. That's, a, that's nope. my Mount Rushmore. Yeah, it's hard to argue that. I mean, those guys are all phenomenal, and those are guys right. who I I couldn't argue. And and honestly, with. there's just about eight or nine you can interchange, and you're not wrong. Easily, easily. Yeah. I think in, in his prime, Eddie Murphy was up there with anybody. Yeah, no, Eddie Murphy no. He, is just that I can't put him above those other guys. Oh, agree. Just because yeah. he hasn't done – stand-up-wise, he hasn't done more than that. You no, know what you're I'm right. saying? He's, you know, he only has two specials. I mean, not to say that that's, that's wrong or right, but, you know, I wouldn't be mad if somebody put Kevin Hart in the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I mean, say what you want to say. That, like, he has – he is <laughs> – you know, um, I wouldn't be mad at a Bernie Mac. I wouldn't be mad at a Jerry Seinfeld. Um, I wouldn't be mad at an Ellen DeGeneres stand-up wise. I wouldn't be mad at that. Moms Mabley. Um, yeah, you can you can interchange a bunch of people and and really, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. Whoopi, I forgot about Whoopi. She yeah, yeah, she has a yeah, I think she has a Grammy for stand-up. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Wow. <laughs> a, yeah, like she's one of the ones where, you know, like she doesn't she she doesn't get her flowers the way they she should, but man, Whoopi. No, Whoopi, Whoopi funny. Oh yeah, I mean, and, and years ago, and you mentioned even Seinfeld, like because because of his success on TV, you don't really yeah. No, Seinfeld is funny. Oh, I'll tell you what he. I mean, he, and he has a very unique brand of comedy. Obviously, yeah, he, it's you know, it's it, and some people is either you like it or you don't. Exactly. He, he's he's the I, he was not the first, but he perfected dry humor. Yes, I, I completely agree. And and even you look at Rodney Dangerfield was another one I think that I mean he obviously yeah. oh yeah you can definitely throw him up yeah you know he's and he he was just such a unique guy and such yeah. a unique and he, he brought yeah, so a, many comedians into his play you know back in the eighties yeah you could say Lenny Bruce there's a lot of Lenny guys Bruce, man. Oh, exactly yeah. there's there so many different people but that's why I love comedy it's such an interesting thing to talk about right depending on your sense of humor now I I'm the kind of person I have a, a wide a pretty you know, yeah. wide array of humor that I like so I can get into a Seinfeld I can get into the most vulgar I can get into a you know a right fire. it doesn't right I like all of it but mm -hmm. you know. It really depends on your, what you kind of comedy you dig. I agree. So, but yeah, you're, you're, I can't argue with anybody on that list. And like you said, there's another eight or nine people you can interchange. And it's hard to argue any one of them.